Hey you guys, I'm trying to get better light. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. I don't even know where we left you off. Oh, it was a couple days ago and so our Hi, leak hasn't actually happened anymore. So we have no idea, right Chels? No idea. No idea. You're getting ready for school? Yeah. Happy. Did you make that? Happy heart day. Happy heart day? <laughs> no, not happy heart day, happy flower day. Yeah, are you gonna have a good day at school? So I am ready this morning. I'm actually gonna set you down here because I'm going to do a, another one of my scans of an appointment. But I need to actually come back and help with dishes real quick, hun. <coughs> so I need to get some of my extra tourists done before we go to the bus stop. And actually need to help start that. It's really white. I don't know how to fix my settings. It's really white, bright. Anyway, we have fun plans today. <coughs> right, Ashley? Here, you finish that. That's a little bit better. Chelsea has her cute bun in her hair. You want to yeah. show them? And then it has my girl's hair on. Yeah, and then turn around and show them. And has then she has hair. her... And then the G-O... Yeah, girls on the run. Yeah. It's her last day. They actually have already run their little marathon. Or not marathon. Their 5K. Like, yeah. She didn't run it because it was on a Sunday. So, Ashley, hurry and unload. Um, it's her chores. I'm just trying to get better light here. Anyway, I'm just going to run you through my day really quick. Well, before these guys head off to school. Get your jacket on. No, don't steal my phone. Oh my gosh. Get your jacket on. This is my morning. I have to keep them away from my phone. <laughs> get, give me my phone and go get your jacket on. Bye. The first alarm has already gone off to get ready for the bus. So, oh my goodness. So, I'm gonna run them to the bus stop. Oh, see, there's our second alarm. Um, and then I have to run straight from the bus stop to this appointment. And then, depending on how long this appointment is, I'm either gonna go to a movie by myself. What? I know. What movie? Uh, or I'm gonna go um, Wait, to Target and then come home and get some work done here at home. Um, it just depends on how long this scan is and if I have time to get to this movie. Mom. I wanna go see The Hustle. It looks really, really funny. So, I like going to movies by, oh. I like going to movies by myself now. I can't find my shoes. Anyway, so that's kind of my plan for the day, but then later tonight, people are I don't know what brought it up, but my husband teaches 11-year-old scouts at church, and suddenly the, one of the other leaders, <coughs> he actually went on the cruise with us, he, he was like, I am craving those corn dogs you made last year for the 4th, 24th, no, the 4th of July. I made them for a big party with friends. And he wants me to show the scouts how to make corn dogs. So I thought it was kind of a perfect, perfect activity right before school starts, right before school ends. So we're gonna do that tonight, but I'm gonna make them ahead of time and make them for our family first, because they have to go to their activities. But I'm not eating them. But the scouts are gonna come to our house tonight for me to show them, just because my gas stove is better than the church's electric stove. It's easier to like, Cook on it. And I'm only going to be the only girl. Here. Yep, Ashley gets to stay here with me and make the corn dogs, right? And I'm going to be the only well, girl. Yeah, you're going to be my little helper. Well, I go to Girls on the Run. Well, she'll be going to go Girls on the Run after school, and then you'll be going to your activity yeah. tonight at the church. Okay. So I'll have three girls at the church and one here at home. Wait, what do you. So let's get these guys to school. Their alarm's already gone off. <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't know if I need to change my settings on my camera. I'm gonna figure this out because I'm really white right now. Let me see if I can. All right, you guys, I have figured out the settings on my camera. I think I keep bumping it with my finger. So sorry about the bright light and stuff when I was at home. I have done my scan um, and I almost fell asleep. Anyway, it was like a good hour and a half to just rest and close my eyes and let them do their job and I get paid for it. So anyway, I am at Target now. I am going to go to the movie. I was just talking to Jason because I was kind of feeling guilty about going, but I realized I literally don't have any more videos to edit. I am caught up clear through next week 
And so I literally only have today's video to edit and I can't edit that video until the day is done. So I am not going to feel guilty about going to a movie by myself. I might try and see if anyone else wants to join me. Um, but a lot of people that I am friends with right now, they all have little ones still. So I'm not sure if anyone's going to join me. But I'm going to run into Target, and I have a few things that I have to get, and then I might roam the dollar spot and clearance and that kind of stuff. It's a good time for that. I have a little bit of time before I'm going to go to the movie, and then I have to get straight back home and start making the corn dog mix. I'd feed my family first, and then send them off to the church, and then I'll have the scouts come over and we'll do the activity with them. So, till that point, let's go into Target. I'm actually really excited because they started putting out that 4th of July stuff. Oh my gosh, my glasses are fogging up. It's like this mix between cold and hot and muggy and I'm going to have to hurry this up because now I'm like, it's muggy in my car but I don't want to roll my windows down. So let me just show you really quick what I picked up from the dollar spot. They're starting to get that 4th of July stuff out and I'm excited. I don't need a ton of stuff but this is really cute so I had to get it. I got these little string light sets and they're stars. They're wood and they're really really cute. So I'm not sure where we're going to put them but they're really cute so. And then I got these cute little star and stripe salt and pepper shakers. If you've watched my channel before you know I'm kind of addicted to getting salt and pepper shakers but this is my tip. Get decorations for your tables, especially especially like tiered table trays or whatnot. Get salt and pepper shakers with your decor, like with the holidays and whatnot, because they're cheaper than the regular decorations, and they double up as with a purpose. I actually don't put salt and pepper in these. When they're as um, my decoration, I don't actually put them to use. <laughs> I could, but I don't need to. So these are really, really cute. I'm loving the stripes on that one. So... That one is really fun. And actually, the only other thing I got from the dollar spot was a card. And it says, what does it say? Happily Ever After. I have a friend of mine, Gracie. This is your shout out. She is getting married on Saturday. She's actually one of my followers here. But I also know her personally. And it's been fun to, like, get to know her. And I'm actually going to do her wedding video on Saturday. I'm really excited. I've only done my nephews before. And even then, it was just kind of fun to just film my family. But she has asked me to film her wedding. And I'm really excited and really nervous. So, Gracie, I hope I don't mess it up. But that's just a card for her wedding. And I'll get her a gift another time. I couldn't think of what to get you, Gracie. So you're going to see this after your wedding. But I have to decide what I'm going to get you for your wedding. So really, I just got regular groceries and whatnot. So I'm not going to show you everything else I got. But I was walking past and got these skewers from the kitchen section. Um, they're like $1.99. And these are for the corn dogs tonight. But I actually like that they have long ones and then shorter ones. Um, because I need to fit them in my pot. The corn dogs kind of lay sideways as, as they cook and it's easier if the stick can just go straight into the oil and lay flat. Then I can kind of just roll them around as opposed to holding them in the pot with the stick sticking out. So anyway, and you just saw the other thing that I got. I have probably four sets of measuring cups in my drawer and I have one piece from each set. Luckily I have one I have a one cup with one set, I have a quarter cup with another set, and a half cup with another set, <laughs> and it drives everyone crazy because that all of the, the measurements have been worn off, so you actually can't tell what, the, what it is, you just have to know. So I got a new set, this one actually comes with um, measuring spoons, I don't really need the measuring spoons, but... The actual brand of measuring cups that I initially picked up was like $6, I think. And then this one is $1.99. So which one is the better deal, folks? The generic Target brand or the name brand? So this is the Room Essentials brand. 
So I think everyone in the family is going to be very excited that I have a full set and I plan on throwing out all the old ones. So nothing fancy, but that Target dollar spot's about to get fun. I love it when they do 4th of July. I really, really do. They have a lot of good stuff that pops up during the 4th of July. So, plus they had that new line. I forgot to talk about this. They have that new line. I forget what it's called. And I know that some YouTubers have been featured sponsoring commercials for that line for Target. And it's really, really cute. Um, if I ever like have a ton of money and can decorate with like that whole whale nautical theme for the 4th of July, I totally would. Because it's really, really cute. It's really hot in here. I need to like open my windows and anyway I have like an hour or so before the movie so I'm gonna run this stuff home I did get some sour cream that I need to get into the fridge and then we will go to a movie all right so I'm unloading my groceries back here at home and I wanted to show you all the different measuring cup types that we have <laughs> it's kind of funny we have a one cup and a one cup and actually this set went together but I only have the one cup and a quarter cup and then I have the half cup left from this guy the one cup just broke, actually. And then I think this one is the, it's hard to see. I know what it is. Well, there you can see it, half cup. And I have the third cup. So between all of them, I have a one and a half and a third and a four and a half. But I don't have one whole set. <laughs> so that's going to replace all of those. And let's see who the first person is to notice this little guy. All right, so I just cut these apart and actually they have like a little ledge to them right here so that they actually all clip together. Like how awesome is that? So I always think it's kind of funny whenever I have a wedding coming up or whatnot that they should do like wedding registries for like the 10 year anniversary and the 15 year anniversary and whatnot because by the time all is said and done, when you get to 10 and 15 years of marriage, you have things like this <laughs> that need to get replaced. I'm actually going to keep these two guys. They're still really good, and the half cup is still decent, so we'll keep those two just for the fun of it. If I get annoyed with it being in the drawer, I'll throw it away. So, anyway, I actually might make brownies for the scouts tonight. I have, like I said, I have about an hour, hour and a half, so I might do that while I eat lunch. But I'm gonna unpack groceries and kinda hang out until I get to go to my movie. It's kinda nice. Oh, I need whole milk for the corn dogs. What else do I have in here? Nothing fancy. This cheese is the only cheese Ashley will eat on a cheese sandwich because she said this is the only way that I can make it that is the same as Red Robin. I'm a sucker for that girl, you guys. But for $2, why not, right? Get her to eat something different than peanut butter and jelly. And look, just a little bit of an inside to me, I hate making lunch like with a passion. So a lot of the times I just have some fruit and some cottage cheese and some water, kind of make do. Sometimes I make a sandwich, but I absolutely hate making lunch. Ash. Making corn dogs. We are making corn dogs. dogs. You dry off your hot dogs, get them nice and dry. And we've got our ingredients over here. Got all of our ingredients set out for the scouts to make their own corn dogs. And we've already made. But we already made ours for dinner and to kind of prep it, right? Yeah. And, and we've got one cooking. 
Actually, we need to turn this little guy. Right? So I kind of got the oil a little bit hot, so my burner is actually not even on. It is at... We brought it down to 360, but it's supposed to be at 350. So I think this guy is probably done. We're going to take him out, and we're going to put him on a towel. But we don't have things prepped. So this is why I'm kind of prepping things ahead of time here. So let's get a let's get a plate out, Ashley. Yeah. And with a paper towel on it, and get it ready. Yeah. And then, and then I think we should test that one. Yeah, we should test. We should test it. I'm right. not eating it. Mm -hmm. I'll eat it. Yeah, I said I don't like going out. But we also need to go get Chelsea soon. We're in a rush, right? Yeah. We're being kind of corny, aren't we, Ashley? Yeah, but why is it called? <laughs> I don't know if she understands that pun. Um, do you understand that pun? Why do they call it corn dog, but it's not corn? Well, because this is actually corn meal. That's a good question. Because it's made out of corn meal. It actually is kind of made out of corn. So we have our setup here. The boys are going to make their own batter. And then I've got their sticks. And then I've got little hot dog holders. And then they're going to make a whole bunch of them for their families. So I've got it all lined up here. And then I made those brownies for dessert. I'm waiting on two more to come out here for my kids to eat before they go to their activities, but we've got to rush to go get Chelsea from running club. Come on, cook. I turned my stove off so that I can go and get her, and now these ones aren't baking quite as fast as I need them to. That one's probably. Just keep it the way it is. Almost done. So, we'll be back with the scouts. Might not be able to film a ton with them, but we'll show you a little bit. So today we had her bike in the car. Why did we have your bike in the car? Um, we, on Sunday, we went in there. You did? Oh, when you went with Dad? Yeah. All right, yeah, go ahead and ride up and down while we wait for Chelsea. Go! You can't ride on the grass? Yeah, that's why you stay on the sidewalk. Had a good time? Yeah. Was it definitely a good party? Uh, yeah. I gotta roll it up because it's gonna be too noisy for <coughs> driving. <coughs> so you had a good party? Yeah. Are you sad to have it done? Yeah. Good thing your teacher is still your teacher. Yeah. Your coach is still your teacher, right? And I can still see them after school. Right. We'll plan play, play dates with some of those friends that you want to play with, right? Yeah. Okay, guess what we made at home? Corn dogs. Oh my gosh, yes you do. Hardly. Oh my gosh, you eat corn dogs. Oh my gosh, my kids. First Ashley's saying she won't eat one, now Chelsea. They're eating the corn dogs because it's what's for dinner. Let's go home. All right, Ashley, ready for bed. You doing all right? You cozy in bed? All right, so we had a fun night. Dana helped the scouts with, uh, what did we make? Corn dogs. Corn dogs. So that was a lot of fun. The scouts really liked it. You like it, Ashley? You're tired. Kids are tired, we had a fun day. Had a fun time with the scouts, had a good day. A lot was done. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.